Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess and a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood
He's right, time to get my shit together. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. <sighs> There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. something. God, I feel so weak. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. 
Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. I don't think Eddie's worn this since that terrible blind date two years ago. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Secret Keeper and her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that... That'll help me figure this out. Haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. This is personal. not right. What is this? <sighs> I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Eddie loved his Mishka so much.
secret keeper in her secret keep. No way. It worked. I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Not here. God, where is it? Not here. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? 
Where did I leave my phone last night? No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. Not here. No! No phone here! doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. I've got enough time to carve something for Dee. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We just I don't remember any of this. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. I miss you, pup. He's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it.
Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep, and exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, a uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah. I guess. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. 
I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Here, Allie. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. He must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I've looked into therapists a few times, but... They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. Uh, I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it.